In Cataclysm Phase 2, you can gear up so quickly to be as ready as possible for the upcoming Phase 3 and the new Raid Firelands. Alright, so the moment you reach level 85, there will be a couple of different options you can do. If you have some decent gear, you can probably head into Heroic right away, else start doing normals. And if you have decent enough gear, you could also try the new 5-man dungeons in Phase 2, Dulgurub and Sulaman. Else, I would highly recommend you to also immediately head to the Auction House. The reason for this is because Cataclysm has been out for quite some time, and therefore a lot of the bind on equip epics are also fairly cheap. Yeah, some of them you can find for around 500 gold, up to around 3 to 4,000 gold. On top of this, ever since Solgorb and Solomon were introduced into the game, well, then in these dungeons there are also a high chance that you will get bind on equip items, and because so many people are doing the dungeons, well, then those also cost next to nothing on the auction house. If you already have a main character where you for example don't need your Valor points, then head to the Valor Quartermaster in Okuma or as an Alliance player to Stormwind City. At this Quartermaster, you can purchase yourself a pair of boots and these are bind on equip. There's going to be cloth, leather, mail and plate types. At this point, you are definitely ready to start doing level 85 dungeons. They are probably also heroics. Nonetheless, when you're doing heroics on normals at level 85, you're going to be rewarded with at least 333 item level equipment and all the way up to 345. And remember to also do all the different quests. Yeah, if you for example don't need a random dungeon, well then you could also sign up for a specific, simply to make sure you're going into the dungeon you would like to do. For example, if there's a quest you need to either do, or a specific item you would like to acquire. Every time you're either slaying a boss or finishing the dungeon, you will also be rewarded with justice points, a currency you can spend in Stormwind City and Wokoma right next to the Vela Quartermaster. And here you can get yourself pretty decent items. Just focus on the ones that will be the biggest upgrade, as this will boost your overall item level so you can head into Heroic even quicker. Or maybe you're already doing Heroics, if so, continue to do this as you will be rewarded with Vela points when you finish the dungeon. Just remember, it's not going to be worth the time to continue spamming heroics, at least not when you can start signing up for the new dungeons Soul Group and Sulaman. You can sign up with the random dungeon here that rewards 480 Valor points, so twice as much compared to what you get in a random heroic, and therefore you should start signing up to these simply to get twice as much Valor points. But before I get into these new dungeons, there's one more thing I would like to highlight if your item level needs to be boosted quite fast. What I'm talking about is PvP, and once again there's Quartermasters either in Okuma or Stormwind CD. The reason why I'm highlighting this is because the season has been out for so long, and therefore you can also get a high amount of conquest points. We're talking about enough to get yourself a full set of epic PvP items. The way to get conquest points are quite easy. You either start signing up for arenas and try to win these, or you could start signing up for raided battlegrounds and do this as 10 people. Rated Battlegrounds rewards more conquests, but it also takes longer compared to a 2 vs 2. With Rated Battlegrounds, I got around 1 item every single hour. With Arenas, I could sometimes get up to 2 items if it were quick games and I were just signing up with another DPS. I'm not saying these items are so good for PvE, but then again, they are item level 365, so they will boost your overall item level. And remember, the moment you have got a total of 7200 conquest points, you can then get yourself a 359 item level weapon. Alright, so at this point you're definitely ready to start doing Suleiman and Sol Guru. The good thing about doing this dungeon is that every single boss will reward epic items. We're not talking about the final one in the dungeon, no, every single one. You just need to be aware of one thing. Sulgurub and Sulaman are a bit more difficult compared to a traditional heroic, so if you already found those a bit difficult, well, then I would highly recommend you to bring consumables. When you do Sulaman, you should also remember to pick up all the different quests at the starting location, as some of these reward you a guaranteed epic item. Next up, I simply just continue to farm for epic items and Valor points, and the moment I started getting a decent amount of Valor points, I then went back to Stormwind City, Remember, as a Horde player, Okuma. What I mainly focused on were two things, getting my pre-rate biz, but also making sure I would get my last couple of rare items replaced with epics. At some point I ended up with so many Valor points that I didn't know what to do. Well, what you can do is either to convert this into conquest points, 
So the PvP currency, or you could purchase developer boots and sell these on the auction house to prepare gold for the upcoming phase 3. By converting these into conquest points, you can then replace your last couple of items, for example, if you still need yourself an epic weapon. Next up, level up your professions. Some of these give you a nice bonus, for example, a better enchant or something else. You will also be able to craft yourself epic items with these professions, and this will be so useful when Firelands is being released, and there's going to be new recipes, patterns, and other things. Remember to also enchant and gem all your different items, so these are the best possible. Yeah, everything will matter, especially if you would like to get yourself a raid spot. And no, don't get yourself the green gems. It's going to be worth it to get the rare ones, as they will improve your character's performance by a high amount. Remember to also reforge all your different items into the best possible stat for your specific character. Yeah, you don't want to have too much hit if you're already hit capped, or you don't want to go for mastery if it's not a good stat for your class. Once you have prepared these things, you're definitely also ready to head into your very first normal raid. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and if so, then I would highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel. Soon I'll be publishing a lot of different videos for phase 3, yeah, a new gearing video, preparations, and many other useful guides. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you would like to get notified when I post these. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Peace!